Thanks for tuning in to Love, Look, and Listen, a show where we talk to creative people about what they love, what they're looking at, and what they're listening to. I'm your host, Brian Ashley Jones, and in partnership with the Southeastern International Film Festival, we are filming here today at Creative Workshop. We're in Berry Hill, uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and I have with me Fats Kaplan today. How are you doing, Fats? I'm doing good. Good. Fantastic. Glad to be here. Thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here. Thank you. Hardest working man in show business. <laughs> you are a professional musician. You are a side man to the stars. Yeah. Uh, you're also a songwriter. <laughs> yep. Uh, so what have you been on the road doing? Let's see. Well, this past uh, month, I have been out with the uh, Nashville the television show tour, the ABC Nashville sh uh, television tour, with a bunch of the cast, and we've been going. We went city to city, uh, from west coast to east coast. And we did 17 dates, and I was in the uh, the house band. So, Fats, you've toured with a lot of different artists over the years. Roy Bookbinder, Jack White, and the list goes on. The past years I've been with, with uh, Jack White. That's been my main thing. I've worked, I've been in Jack White's band for the past, like, four years and did two world tours and two albums with him. So That's got to be fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. He's, he's a, uh, a very... Uh, He's an amazing person, actually. He's he's a great person, um, and um, it's been a pleasure to work with him. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, as as you know, the name of this show is Love, Look, and Listen, and yep. we like to talk with creative people about uh, those three things. Sure. And and it's my theory that to live a creative life for any length of time, to weather the the storm, the ups and downs, that you probably really have to love what you do. Can you tell us what you love about it? I still love performing live on stage. I still love getting out there. The challenge just then doing it, like you got to go, you got to go, you got to do it now, and um, improvising, um, and um, playing varied instruments uh, on stage. So, how many instruments do you play? Hey, a lot. Uh, I mean. A fair amount. Uh, the, actually, this last tour with uh, with the Nashville was actually the I'm pretty sure about this was the most instruments that I've ever played on in it really played in one configuration, like being on stage. It was six. So usually I'm playing at least like three, four, something like that, you know. But this one I was playing six. Fats, what have you been watching lately? What sort of visual media has been turning you on? What have you been looking at? Going, kind of going back into uh, silent movies, and particularly the German expressionist directors, such as Fritz Lang. Stuff like The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari is still one of my favorite movies. Why? Because it's it's totally vi it's without words. It's totally visual, and the 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 black and white and the uh, the the use of that. Uh, it fascinates me still. Very cool. Well, so now you've inspired me to go check some of this out because I mean, of course, I've seen silent films, yeah. but it's been a while. Yeah. And now that I know that that turns you on, it's like, and I respect your art. Yeah. That makes me want to go see that. Yeah. So that's really what this show is about. So I appreciate you sharing that with us. That's really cool. Well, what what have you been listening to? What sort of music have you heard lately that uh, inspires you? Well, um. The past few years, uh, I, I have a I have a great interest in uh, Turkish uh, and Greek music, Bulgarian that whole that general area, world music, fiddle, and so is one of my main things. That's probably what I've played just about the longest of any instrument. But hearing the great Greek and Turkish and Bulgarian fiddle players, uh, it's just some of the greatest stuff. Fantastic. Well, Fats Kaplan. What a pleasure to have you here. Can you can you tell us a little bit more about how to find you online? Where can we find your tour dates and such? Uh, just just uh, look us up on Facebook, um, uh, Christy Rose and Fats Kaplan, and uh, we're there. I'm also on Instagram. Fantastic. Well, thank you for taking your time to be here with us today. You're and welcome. Really appreciate it. I know you're a busy man. Thanks for thank being you, here. A pleasure. And uh, would you mind playing a song for us? Sure, I will. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, let All me right. get a fiddle. You got it. Okay. I'll play a tune uh, that I wrote a couple of years ago, and um, um, it's called Little Egypt. 
Um, but it's, it's throwing back to listening to Turkish and Greek music and Bulgarian music and such like that. But it was actually written in Little Egypt, and Little Egypt is the area of the very bottom of southern Illinois, southern Illinois, down by the Shawnee National Forest, where the right when you cross the Ohio River and the Ohio River and the Mississippi River meets, and that's uh, known and it's been known for a long, long time as Little Egypt for many different reasons. And there's places named after places in Egypt down there, and it's a strange, mysterious place, and it's where we still keep the house that my wife, Christy Rose, uh, grew up in. And that's where we kind of retreat to, to Little Egypt. <laughs> and it goes like this. Little Egypt.